Point Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, brisk winds making it feel colder. Check out the uh, wind chills, the feel like temperatures now running in the teens and 20s, 18 above in Smithfield and Taunton, low 20s along the south shore. Time lapse from Narragansett Town Beach, just some fair weather cumulus clouds mixing in with the sunshine today as temperatures struggle to get out of the mid 30s. Now, we are tracking some snow on Doppler radar. However, it's just light snow showers and flurries. And it's actually well to our north. Here's the Mass Pike. So from the Pike North, some flurries and light snow showers. They have been dropping down, so it's not out of the question this evening. One or two spots may see a passing flurry, but nothing more than that. Live pictures from uh, downtown Providence and looking at the skating center. And <laughs> we better bundle up here. Wind chills in the teens and 20s. Actual air temperature, upper 20s on a west breeze at 9. Humidity is uh, fairly dry at 56%. Neighborhood weather locations, including Smithfield at 25, Picasso Bay at 26. That includes East Greenwich, East Providence at uh, 20. So temperature is fairly uniform in the mid to upper 20s, so already below freezing and obviously plenty of nighttime to go through, so it will be a very cold night. Big storm up across northern Maine, producing a lot of wind, and what it's doing is just circulating cold air from Canada and just reinforcing it and driving it down into southern New England. Snow squalls and snow showers up in northern New England, but for the most part we're staying basically dry down here, perhaps a passing flurry this evening. Nothing more than that. Temps in the mid-20s. and Obviously, it'll be cold for the football game tonight at Gillette Stadium with the air temperature in the 20s. Kickoff is at 8.30, and uh, temps in the 20s, but wind chills will be in the teens, but uh, no snow with this uh, game other than a passing flurry. Overnight tonight, by 5 o'clock in the morning, we'll drop off to 22 and to partly to mostly cloudy skies. Both tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon will feature lots of clouds and a little bit of sunshine. 25 at sunrise. 34 later in the morning. Little ones at the bus stop definitely need to bundle up a mix of clouds and sunshine. Uh, in fact, there's the bus stop forecast right there. Only 26 degrees between 7 and 8.30 in the morning. And then during the afternoon, a blustery day, lots of clouds and a little bit of sunshine. So it's not a solid overcast, but not a completely clear sky. Temperature's not much higher than, say, 35, 37. But again, you throw in that wind, feels a little colder. Mid-30s along the south shore, gusty west breeze at 15 to 25, so a small craft advisory. Higher elevations in northern suburbs, slightly cooler in the lower 30s, 31 Boroughville, and out across southeastern Mass, lots of clouds, a little bit of sunshine, and temperatures hovering in the middle 30s. Seven-day future cast shows even colder weather for Wednesday and Thursday, still dry. Chance for some light snow Friday night, a few raindrops mixed in along the south shore. Nothing serious, but a, a wide area of light snow possible at 39. Catch a break on Saturday. Next storm system, probably in the form of of rain later Sunday into Monday. Notice why the temperatures start to come up a little bit. 45 on Sunday and 40 on Monday. But the long range computers indicate despite that brief warm up over the weekend, it turns a lot colder beyond that. So it's the kind of weather pattern where it stays cold most of the time. You get a couple of warm days and the reinforcing cold air comes in once again. Okay. Thank you, Tony. Coming up new at five.